On the last episode of Shadow of the Earth Tree, I became the Titan Slayer through the meticulous craft of trial and error. And also through the meticulous craft of being a, a tiny little bit stupid. Ooh, there's beef going on there. Are those like the demi-humans? But like fucked up big versions now. What would be like the opposite of a demi-human? An omni-human? A giga-human? That is... Oh, that's, that's homegirl, right? Please don't fight me. Oh, hey, Scoob. We can be just got a Scooby snack. <laughs> Yummy. Ah, Lady Leda spoke of you. That's my bestie, bro. That's oomph. You're that tarnished. Guided here by kindly Mikola. Won't we all? I am Freya. I once fought alongside General Radan. Now that is a uh, not oomph. That's the guy I may have killed to get here. In battle, you can be sure I'll hold my own. Likewise. Have him give you a map of the cross's whereabouts. They are Mikola the Kind's footprints. Kind of big for his footprints. Isn't he like a child? He looks small. Why is his footprint so big? Oh, I wonder if I get like a option to I get a side with these guys or side against them. Freya seems pretty chill, but this horn scent conversation didn't go nearly as smoothly. Fie. Another. Treading the heels of Mikola. Then, as that woman would surely say, we are in our purposes well aligned. But understand, your kind are not forgiven. Why is it fuck me for? What did I do? I literally just woke up and started killing gods. I don't even know what your kind is even fucking called, man. The Earth Tree is my people's enemy. By Marika long betrayed, set aflame. And you know what, Mr. Hansen? If your kind is half as bitchy as you are, then they fucking deserve it, okay? Matter of fact. Keep talking shit and I'll take a quick detour down to the tunnels for that frenzied flame and burn your people again just for good measure, fuckboy. Never will I see your kind as worthy. Shut your goofy ass up, boy. I may be unworthy, but your mama, dead. So who's the real winner here? Allow me to give you this. He gave me some stupid mob that I just burnt and threw down some cliff. I don't need this guy's fucking charity, okay? Why do I feel like at some point I'll get the option to side against Nicola and all these fuckers are gonna be trying to kill me? So here you have me looking around at the map, completely oblivious to the fact that I'm about to cook out the most insane sequence breaking mental illness inducing pathing known to man. But first, I kind of want to see what this place is about for a little bit at least. I would know if they'll give me a warm welcome or if my warm welcome is going to include a death, murder and more murder and death. <sighs> it's usually that one though. And here we meet two more friends and unbeknownst to me at the time, we meet one of the two goats of this expansion. I am Ansbach, formerly in service to Lord Moog. Oh my god, is this the people I made unemployed by killing their boss convention or what is going on? Every guy I talk to has a 50% chance to be a victim of my shenanigans. Maybe more considering the haunts and dude just hates my goods for seemingly no reason. But now, like you, another soul guided by kindly Mikola. My fighting days are far behind me, which is why I have chosen to dedicate myself to investigation to discern Tender Mikola's ultimate purpose. This man thinks he's part of the mystery machine gang or summer, but hey, if you keep feeding me these Skadoobie snacks, I am at your service. Let's split up and look for clues and all. I presume you too are keen to know just what kind Mikola is doing here. Mayhaps I am, Mr. Ansbach. Mayhaps I am. I'll keep you posted, Sherlock Holmes. Hello there. General Kenobi. Together, we work. Yes. Together, for Mikola the Kind. Uh, maybe? Many things we have found. Ah, purchase. If I'm in a pickle, I'm not afraid to do a little wreck, if you know what I mean. No, I, no, I don't know what the fuck you mean. What are you talking about? I'm not, like, listen, I'm not even, like, hiding context from you or anything. I just randomly say this in the middle of me shopping for livers. I genuinely do not know what's wrong with me. What's wrong with the guy that I'm listening to right now? I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. 
Can I kill this guy? I really want his drip. It's fine, I won't kill him. I'll be, I won't be an evil guy. Thank the Lord above me, I didn't actually do that. That would completely ruin the built uponness of the cool ass narratives which explode at the climax of the DLC. Stay tuned. That looks like a cool ass castle. Like, I don't want to be that guy, but why does it remind me of the castle from Dark Souls 2? Why does it remind me of Drunk Lake Castle? Like, it's got the same, like, kind of like squarish feel and it's all black. Silence. Finally. Why do I feel like I'm gonna walk up here and then a massive fucking boulder is gonna drop down right on top of my face? That's not a massive fucking boulder. That may be worse. Are you a friend? Oh, I did not mean to- I, I read the wrong thing! Oh wait. Why are you piss? I thought there was a mini boss. I thought there was a, gonna be a boulder. A few genocides later. Oh, they're gonna wait until I can go into like this room to go this item. They're all gonna try to jump on me, aren't they? No? Oh, see, see. You are too predictable, Miyazaki. Up your game, white boy. Up your game, Japanese old man. Scorpions feel like less scary than like both spiders and ants. You know, though I'm not particularly scared of either of them. Scorpions are like, they look like menacing monsters type things. This feels like any other monster, you know? But like spiders, they could be like, they have like a little woo -woo to them. And ants are like kind of like, woo -woo, you know? Finally, someone isn't fucking throwing rocks at me. I finally get some fucking respect in this town. Be wary of right. <laughs> you motherfucker. Okay, you know what? You got me. You got me. I'm the fucking go of all time though, so like, you getting me doesn't actually do anything. I just fucking reacted to his presence anyway, without being able to see him, but you did get me, so... I think there's another health button there, right? There is. Interesting. Yeah, you think I didn't see you there? Shut up. Go back into your piss water and have your piss shower, okay? Let me have my piss shower. Hell yeah, piss shower. This isn't piss shower, this is like shit shower. <laughs> and I bet you thought I was actually gonna explore Belarus. Joke's on you. Come back when part I get like 36 comes out. I kid you not, for the next 50 hours of gameplay, this place does not get revisited. So I traveled forward in a direction of unknown origin until I was led to the Great Bridge North Grace by the voices in my head. I find a little shack full of uh, kinda useful stuff. It is useful because this is the hefty furnace pot recipe. And it does in fact come in handy later on for certain encounters, let's say. Is this what I think it is? This is literally the fly people from Dark Souls 3 DLC. Oh my god, so many of them. One boring fly genocide later. Oh, how it hurts from very tip to toe. Oh, no! Help me, I must ask. Am I human still? I don't have a hickey on my neck, bro. Damn, these these flies are freaky as fuck, man. What the fuck? Are y'all chill? You are not chill. You are not in fact chill. Oh my god, swap, swap the flies! Oh my god, he just fucks you. Oh my god, you guys are. I won't bore you with me running around every little part of this area and finding essentially nothing of value, and I'll let you skip straight into the lake business. There's gotta be something in this lake, right? Oh, I did not even notice you. Hello, mate. Ghost flame dragon, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. My god, hit him! No, oh, I jumped in. Please tell me there's a stake of marker here. Oh, he's fully awake now. Where is he going? Is he good? Hey, help are you good? Hey, Kurt, are you good? Oh, I just broke his stance. No, I couldn't get... Is he good? I feel like he's just not reacting to me sometimes. He's just running around doing his own thing. Oh, wait, is he blind? Because he... Well, he literally has no eyes. When the AI is so shit, it makes you think it's actually intentional. Oh, okay. He seems like a really weird AI. Get back here, man. Get back here. Just get back here. I'm not going up there. Just get back to your little lake. 
Okay, thanks for, thanks for the souls. Thanks for the souls. But can you get back here? Where is he going? Brother, where are you going? Are you kidding me? Do I actually have to go up there for you? Is he supposed to do that? Or is he just being a fucking piss baby? Oh, now there's fucking people trying to throw rocks at me here. Oh my god, I'm not one shot somehow. Nope. Yo, Ghost Flame Dragon? Do you have any interest in being normal? I cannot see. I am dodging purely of fucking vibes and it's not fucking working. Again, why is it always this attack on that much health? Why it's the same thing every time, it's the same thing every time, it's the same thing every time. I, don't know. I am going, I am going to. <laughs> I'm going to do things. Those things will not be good for my sanity or anyone else's. That's all you need to know. I did not mean to press that, but I guess we're doing that now. Fuck your runes. Fuck you. Fuck your ankle. Fuck your uncle again. You know what? Fuck your uncle too, bro. He did not like me talking shit about his uncle, bro. What is this shit? Kalabunga! Wait, that was no fire. That's gonna be fire. That was one shot me. So after killing this dragon, I was genuinely really excited to get a ghost flame dragon spell. So I make my way to the dragon cathedral. And uh, Drake, where's the dragon spell? It goes right there. See, I drew it with a magic marker. <laughs> and now, with runes ready for the losing and disappointment in my heart, I venture further into the lands of shadow. And who knows? Maybe I'm on my way to meet a potential major ally for the tale of Mr. Fox in the Land of Shadow.